Welcome back to News 46. There will be a light parade for the holidays in the coming weeks. Shannon Moore explains. It is called the Lights of Hope Parade, and it is going to be sponsored by Relay for Life of Pahrump. It will be on December 4th, which is actually a Friday night, um, because the following morning we have Pancakes with Santa. So trying to fit in a whole bunch of great stuff that weekend. Um, but I'm here for one main reason, and that is because we don't want people in the community out watching a parade that has two floats. So <laughs> we really need to get people who are interested in decorating a truck, a car, an RV, it doesn't matter in lights or creating a float for their organization and coming out and joining us. Um, the deadline to join is November 30th. There is a $20 fee. It is a fundraiser for Relay for Life. Um, and right now the applications are available on the Facebook page, um, Relay for Life slash Pahrump NV, or it's dash. Um, or I'm getting ready to take them into the chamber, so you should be able to pick them up at the chamber office. And um, if you have any questions, obviously feel free to call me. My number is 775-910-3329. Um, and we're just really looking for anybody, churches, schools, any um, organizations in town that like to be a part of it so we can have a really great event for our community. And so, uh everybody can come on out what's the date and time again um the date of the parade is going to be on friday december 4th it's going to start at 7 p.m so lineup is at six for our floats and then immediately following um we're going to have hot chocolate and cookies with santa and that all takes place at the calvada eye here's your student news with holly horwath and riley moore i'm holly horwath and i'm riley moore and you're watching student news Student Council is hosting a clothing and coat drive to benefit the less fortunate within our community. Items can be dropped off in the office or sent with your student to school. The November Senior Scholarship Bulletin is now available on the Prompt Valley High School website. Remember, yearbooks are on sale all the time. You can purchase a book either online or in school. Buy yours today. Cost is $65. After Thanksgiving, the cost will increase. Don't forget that there is tutoring in the library Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays after school until 3.30. Prompt Valley High School, JROTC, will be hosting a food drive November 9th through 19th. We will only be accepting non-perishable foods such as boxed or canned foods. The proceeds will help our McKinney Vento students as well as the Disabled American Veterans Food Pantry. Reminder to parents that the Thanksgiving holiday begins with a minimum day on Wednesday, November 25th, when students will be released at 1045. There will be no school on Thursday and Friday. The PVHS Music Boosters are sponsoring a magic show tonight in the auditorium at 7 p.m. for just $10 per person. The Sadie Hawkins Dance will be this Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. The Improv Group will be hosting a Thanksgiving show this Saturday, November 21st at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The winter athletic season is upon us. There will be a meeting for all parents of season, winter season athletes in the PVHS main gym Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. I'm Riley Moore. And I'm Holly Horwath. Thank you for watching Student News. Let's join Alicia Cook with your entertainment this week. HIV positive basketball legend Irvin Magic Johnson hopes Charlie Sheen will help him educate the world about the disease. Now the actor has come clean about his diagnosis. Johnson revealed he had the virus in 1991 and subsequently created the Magic Johnson Foundation to raise money to help fight the disease and educate others. He hopes Sheen will now also become an advocate following his interview on the Today Show on Tuesday during which the actor revealed he was diagnosed with HIV four years ago. During his interview, Charlie insisted he will use his celebrity status to raise HIV awareness, saying, if there was one guy on this earth to contract this that's going to deliver a cure, it's me. Seriously, it's me. Porsche has blamed Paul Walker for his own death in one of its sports cars, saying that the vehicle he was riding in had been abused and altered. The actor's death and all other injuries or damages claimed were the result of his own comparative fault. Walker was best known for his role as Brian O'Connor in the Fast and Furious franchise. His life was cut short when a Porsche he was riding in crashed on November 30th, 2013, during a few days off in the filming of the seventh movie in the popular series. He was 40 years old. In September, Walker's daughter filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Porsche, claiming the sports car he was riding in had multiple design flaws.
Former Jefferson Airplane singer Grace Slick has urged the members of Fleetwood Mac to follow her into retirement because, according to her, they look awful when they perform. Slick, who quit the business in the late 1980s to focus on her love of art, admits she's still a fan of the band's music, but she just can't bear to look at them. Slick insists there's only one act that still deserves to be rocking in their 70s, the Rolling Stones. Slick even thinks she stuck around too long and should have quit music a decade before she walked away from Starship. Part of the decision to retire came after years of singing songs she didn't believe in. She said, I don't like to sing songs that somebody else wrote simply because I don't necessarily agree with it. I'm lying if I say nothing's going to stop us now. A Mack truck will stop you instantly and 52% of the people who get together get a divorce. What do you mean nothing's going to stop us now? It's bull. And we built this city on rock and roll? What city? There's no city built on rock and roll. I am Alicia Cook, and that is your entertainment this week. When we come back, we'll have your weather with Noah Began.